So in the last video you sure saw me pewter casting this, okay? Um, I could leave this to cool down, it will take quite a long time, so I've sped the process up actually by quenching this. I've just put it under some water there to kind of cool the pewter material out. So this is ready to come out of the mould now. So I'm going to remove the masking tape around the outside. You can see the, the mould is a little bit wet there, okay? And what I'm going to do is put the gauntlets back on again and I'm going to use the ruler to remove the different layers. These normally come across quite easily, come apart quite easily, because if they're still warm, they'll come apart quite easily. So I'm going to take that off. There's the back of the, uh, the casting. You can see it's not too bad there. There's no clear visible holes or anything like this. But we've just got a bit of oxidation that we're going to take off with the filing process. Now for the other surface, I'm just going to use a craft knife here just to kind of start the, the, the hole off again like this and then again put my ruler in. Now the reason why I've got the uh, the gloves on obviously is because this ruler could be quite sharp and as I push it down I don't want to kind of cut my hands. Here we can see my little acrylic insert is in there as well, it looks quite nice, it's sticking out at the front and I can just lightly pop this out. Now as you can see because I've wet this you know MDF is a very porous material so it's not ideal for making multiple castings from again I'd want to use something maybe like silicon or something if I was going to do lots of castings or at least a more resistant material okay and also it absorbs the water as you can see so as I've quenched it it's actually absorbed it so that would be no good for another mould um, but it's perfect for a, a one-off bespoke piece like what I've got here so you can see that casting's not come out too bad the first thing we'd need to do obviously is cut away our sprue from the top, okay, and then we can start working on refining all of these edges um, and smoothing the back as well.